Hey gamers, in this episode we're going to be looking at a tier 7 helicopter with tier 8 plasma cannons and 10 tier 6 electroplates. So if you're looking for something tough that packs a punch, this is it. Hey gamers, welcome to Gamer Guide channel. I am Gamer Guide, of course, and also Rollin in Robocraft. And in this video, we're going to be looking at one of the robots on my Rollin account, what I call the Countercopter. Now, I call it the Countercopter because it has 12 lights on it, and that's a great counter against snipers in this game. It helps blind them if they try to scope you at long range. And as a helicopter, you're kind of susceptible to that to begin with. You could actually build this helicopter for 1208 CPU if you don't put all the lights on it, but with the lights it's 1508, so you can increase the light counts as you get up in level if you want to keep this at a tier 7. Now it's 416 cubes, and it also uses 5 tier 8 plasmas, so you're going to need to have those plasmas unlocked to get it to really punch as hard as what you see here in the video. The way I show it, it's 985,108 RP, and all the blocks and all the pieces you're going to need for this are going to be listed in the garage once we get there on the right side. I'll also put the cops in there too. Thanks for all the support, I appreciate all the feedback, and if you have a suggestion for a robot you might like to see, I have been taking notes and checking those out, and I appreciate all the community involvement as well too. So just feel free to give me a shout out and say hello, I do try to reply when I can, uh, when I can get the time. And uh, enjoy the rest of this match video and just kind of see how this countercopter performs in two games I just did back to back. These aren't special, I did play like 20 games to get these, these are just the first two games I played. So check that out, and then afterwards we'll go to the build garage and we'll get started on the build. See you guys in a little bit. Hey gamers, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you all for helping me get this channel to where it is today. I'm currently at about 1,500 subscribers and a partner, and this is something I've wanted to do for years, and I appreciate you guys helping me get here, because it's only with that help from you that uh, I've been able to get this far. And I hope you'll continue with me into the future, whatever that may be, and whatever games we may tackle. No matter if Robocraft crashes and burns next week, or YouTube doesn't work out, or whatever, you know, I appreciate just what we've accomplished so far. It means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, sometimes life can be a lot like Robocraft, too. We don't always have a smooth ride. Sometimes we have those challenges or battles in life, and some are harder than others. Sometimes our plans don't work out exactly the way we planned, and uh, so we have to rebuild. You know, but with the right mindset and some perseverance and a little bit of courage, if we take it piece by piece, eventually we can come up with something better, and it will get us to victory. So whatever it is that's a challenge in your life, if you believe in yourself, if you take it piece by piece, eventually you're going to win. Alright guys, we're going to get started on the build. First thing we're going to do is take our tier 7 inners and put them down here on the floor. I'll we'll start here at the tip of the arrow. And we're going to use regular mirror line builds. We're going to go ahead and go back 16 blocks here with these inners. And the direction of the inner doesn't really matter, it's just kind of uh, whatever your preference is here. So 
It's actually going to be our second layer from the bottom. And we'll elevate it here in a little bit to uh, do the layers above it and below. So here on the side now, we're just adding some uh, additional bulk. Going to use mostly all inner and uh, prisms here. Now I'll just tell you, this is actually one of my older builds. I think I built this helicopter before the mirror line system was put into the game. So if you see some uh, blocks, some inners especially, that are not facing the exact same way, uh, just think it's just uh, aesthetics and you can face them any way you want to really. So don't freak out about it. All right, we're gonna work here a little bit more on the core and bulk this up. And here on the side too. I just turned the inner so you can't see the chip corner, but uh, you can do whatever you like. And as you see, some of the inners on left and right are matched up because I built this way before uh, Mirror Line was put into the game, but uh, just turn them so they're the same. Alright, this is going to be the nose. I'm going to put a couple in her here, kind of right up the front. Alright, here we're going to make an extension for our T7 thruster. Kind of have a housing compartment in the uh, rear fort. So we need to build a couple tetra, or excuse me, inners out from the back. Then we're going to add some prisms here to the side eventually. Alright, and these won't connect with the uh, ones above it. I'm going to put a temp lock here, and then a uh, inner. And then we'll put some more of these prisms here on the side. And we're just going to extend it all the way to the back. And then we're also going to fill in the uh, prisms underneath here. And then later we'll come back and we'll put our uh, T7 thruster in there. Alright, again, these enters can be placed any way you want. Just whatever your preference is. Here in the middle of our uh, helicopter, we're going to be putting our radar. So this is kind of a shield to keep that radar safe. Using prisms. And then we'll go back to using inners here. Now we got a couple uh, cubes in here. And uh, in the future, in Robocraft, the uh, cubes are going to be worth more armor, so 
certainly nothing wrong with using cubes, uh, except for weight on a helicopter. It's one of the reasons why I use lots of inners. But it's whatever your preference is. Up here in the cabin, you might use a couple more uh, blocks versus inners now. But we are going to reinforce this cabin, so uh, I'm using a couple Tetra even uh, to flank our eyelid. Create the uh, top of the cabin here. This blue block is just to kind of give an effect with the uh, windows we're going to put in a little bit. Make it look like there's windows behind it. Now if you want to, there is actually room in this uh, cockpit for a uh, altimeter or a uh, speedometer. I just don't uh, put one in this build, but I did have one in there at one time. So if you have a speedometer or altimeter, uh, you can actually fit it in. And it fits between the two inners uh, in the front of the cabin. Alright, we've got our windows on now. And now we're going to reinforce the sides here to keep anybody from uh, shooting the pilot directly. We also have shields here too, so. I thought it was going to be really well protected. All right, now we're going to work on the bottom layer, and all we're doing is just adding some reinforcement here to what we're going to mount our guns. So if they get shot off, it doesn't uh, transfer that damage right to the center of our body. Now if you wanted to, you could actually use the uh, prism plating technique here. I just didn't opt for it. I wanted a little bit more uh, rigidness in the frame. So I'm just using inners and uh, a couple of prisms, but you can certainly use all prisms here if you want to. And here I'm even using cubes. But that's going to be fine because in the new uh, Robocraft, those cubes are going to be worth more armor. So it's probably good to have full cubes at the bottom of your craft versus inners or uh, prisms now. Alright, now we're going to work on the arms that we're going to put two of our tier 8 cannons on and some lights and stuff. So the core will be out of yellow blocks and then uh, we're going to be putting blue underneath it for a little extra armor without uh, bringing our tier meter up too high so we can get our guns in. We're just going to line the outside of these arms with blue blocks. And uh, also some prisms and stuff. Look 
top I'm using uh, hitters and just tighten the corner to keep it a little lighter. here at the back, and this is going to be for a prop that we put in a little bit, a P6 uh, rotor. We'll go ahead and put our lights on here first. This part is optional in a way. If you don't have the CPU, this would be the component to leave off. Of course, it's also the thing that makes this helicopter great, too, so I wouldn't go too skimpy on lights. We'll go ahead and put our pilot in. And now let's put our T8 plasma cannons on the bottom. Alright, now all of our T6 electroplates are going to go in these little slots. You'll see the divot with the missing prism. That's where they go. on the top too, on the body, and on the arms we're just having them on the front side. Alright, we'll put a radar in the middle, and uh, now our radar jammers. We're using all tier 5 here. And then uh, our tier 6 rotors. We're going to use four of these. Help keep us in the air. We only actually need two of these to stay up, so you can afford to get two shot off. Take out the tent blocks, and now we can go ahead and put in our uh, tier seven thruster in the back. So help get us a higher top speed, and then just to get us moving, we're going to use tier sixes everywhere else. Two in the back for reverse, and two in the front for forward movement, a little faster forward movement. And we're going to kind of nestle those in here between those uh, tier six electroplates. And that's going to do it, guys. Thanks very much for checking it out, and I'll see you next time here on Gamer Guide. Later.